With barely 48 hours to Jubilee Party primaries, the ruling party has split the event into two clusters that will be conducted in two days. On Friday, the party is expected to hold nominations in 22 counties, including the entire Mount Kenya region, Taitataveta County, Transoya County, as well as the Rift Valley region, except Samburu and Tukana counties. Other 23 counties, including the Coast region, Eastern region, Northeastern region, Western region, Nyanza region, except Kisumu and Siaya counties, will hold their primaries on Tuesday next week. In total, the ruling party is expected to hold party primaries in 45 counties across the country. Jubilee National Elections Board Chair Andrew Musangi says the decision to split the primaries was informed by increased competition for the party's ticket by aspirants. The party has noted that the areas that will be needing to receive our attention at the primaries in terms of competitive counties have since increased from 33 to 45. Not surprising. Uh, the contest for Jubilee seats and the parties interested in running for the various seats right from governor all the way down to MCA in every part of this country has significantly heightened. The party has reiterated its commitment to hold a free and fair process and is warning the aspirants against causing violence during the exercise. Any aspirant found in contravention of Elections Act will be disqualified and the party will liaise to the IEBC to ensure the aspirant does not contest as an independent candidate. We will not hesitate as a party to disqualify any candidate for any position that contravenes the party rules or the electoral laws as defined in the Elections Act and our very robust nomination rules and constitution as the Jubilee Party. The party has enlisted 60,000 returning officers, presiding officers and clerks who will be posted away from their own constituencies. Returning officers will read out results at constituency and county level. However, the final results will be announced at party headquarters by the National Elections Board. <laughs> The party's assurance of a fair exercise comes amid heightened political heat in its strongholds. The latest is the attack of nominated MP Isaac Moora, who was injured in a commotion while on a campaign trail in Royal constituency. Kevin Washira, Channel News.